Hello and welcome to Metolius Minutes, tutorials uh, and tips for photography, gear, and uh, post-processing. Today we're going to talk about lens profile correction. Uh, so what we want to do is go ahead and show a brief tutorial on uh, what that is and the importance of it. This is going to focus on using Adobe Lightroom, the recommended uh, catalog and import manager for your files. Uh, in this case, uh, I've got a picture here that uh, was taken of Fort Rock, Oregon. Anyway, you can see here that uh, I've went into the develop module. Now, this is an option you can select to automatically have applied during import. That'll be a separate tutorial. But in this case, we'll just show you the manual uh, implementation of it and the importance of it. You can see that if I scroll down uh, the develop modules uh, toolbar, uh, that there is an option under lens correction, uh, not under basic, but under profile, you'll see a checkbox here for enable profile collection so, uh, or correction. So I'll go ahead and enable that so you can see the difference it makes with this particular 14 millimeter lens that was used in this photograph. And you can see that it makes a significant difference in unwarping the image. Um, so basically uh, you can see the importance just via uh, this example here and how you get uh, this custom profile uh, is uh, something I'll talk about briefly here. But uh, first of all, um, typically lenses that you're going to use that match your camera, so if you have a Canon lens and a Canon camera, Nikon, Nikon, so on and so forth, uh, you would be able to go ahead and click on Enable Profile Collection and it will automatically, through the metadata, be able to detect and determine which lens that you were using. In this case, I have a Samyang uh, or Rokinon 14 millimeter lens I use for, for astrophotography uh, and sun landscape, which is not automatically uh, enabled or detected, so you have to go and, and do the next steps uh, that I'll talk about. If, however, you are only using lenses that uh, are native, uh, you should be able to just check this box and you're good to go. Uh, and look for the next tutorial, which will be on how to automatically enable this on import. For those of you who are looking to get custom lens combinations, uh, what you need to do is go ahead and go to Adobe Air uh, and get that installed if you don't already have it. So just into Google, type Adobe Air. Go ahead and click on the installation, follow the instructions. Once you've completed that, then you need to go ahead and install the next program and utility, which is actually the Lens Profile Downloader. Uh, again, in Google, type in Adobe Lens Profile Downloader and click on Proceed to Download. Follow the instructions. And once that is installed, you can execute the program. And here you can see uh, that this is the default that you uh, will get when you bring up the program. Uh, because of Google searching, I know that the lens profile I'm looking for is located under Canon. Uh, you'll just need to do a quick Google search for lens plus camera, and you'll find out where you need to go look for this profile. Anyway, under uh, Canon uh, as the make and lens model, I go down and I search for the name of my lens, which is a 14 millimeter f2.8. Uh, find what I need as far as style uh, for image type, which is here, raw. Um, and then you'd click on uh, download which I've already done, and that will then enable that to be a selection in the profile uh, toolbar here in Lightroom. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for visiting uh, and uh, watching this tutorial. Please stay tuned for more tutorials, and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter at Metolius Photography slash minutes. Thank you.